Hello everybody, how you doing? Hope everybody's doing fine, I really do. You know, I've been really busy, y'all do know that. And today's been my first day to really do some research. And there's really, yesterday and today, really too much to cover all in one video or two or five or a hundred. But there's two that sticks out into my mind. And one is CERN. Now we all remember what was it last year, the year before. There was big to do's about them crashing their atoms together and their protons and their whatever. Well, it's just my personal opinion. They're trying to recreate They're basically trying to recreate, folks, the Big Bang, which created the universe to start with. Now, of what I've seen of their motion picture video that they've got up and all their explanations to all their stuff, all their scientific information and all of that, it's all great and wonderful and it would be good to know. There's only one problem with that that I see. Maybe y'all feel this way, maybe you don't, maybe you're all for it, maybe you're not. But let's put in the scenario, okay? This was in the space. There was nothing there. There's nothing in this collider either. It's just taking these protons and atoms and all whatever and they collide them together. At high, at super almost the speed of light speeds. And they're very small. I mean microscopic small. But let's see, if that happened in space, which created Earth and life as we know it, and they recreate this same thing in a scientific collider, whatever you want to call it, with a different type of atmosphere with gravity uh, all of the different things that's ever come about since the beginning of the Big Bang is here on earth or a lot of it is here on earth with us and we go and turn this machine on yet again not saying that it's actually a machine what do they know that it's really going to do could this in turn change life in the way we know it well let's see it changed space so we could be born correct now, if they change these molecules like they were changed with the Big Bang Theory, they may know the history right now. But what's the history going to do after it's created a change of the molecules that happened in space? Because they changed. Are we going to change mankind by doing that as well now it's just my opinion I don't believe that mankind is ready to play God yet 
I really don't. And I don't care what God you believe in. God's God. It, there's only one. There's only us one supreme being. As far as I can tell. As far as I know. And it don't matter which one. They're all the same. There's only one. No matter which one it is or which religion you believe in, no one knows what religion, where it comes from, or where it goes. Sorry. There's no proof. It's only faith. And that's what causes wars for centuries of one different religion against the other. Mainly what happens. Now, if this works, the next thing that I really want to talk to y'all about, which goes with the same thing, in my opinion, green screen. Okay? Now, I've been using green screen, and you've been seeing it in the background here. Or at least I hope you're going to see it. I don't never know how it's going to turn out because of sunlight. If I had a real good room that I could brighten it up and I can make it look perfect every time. That's how good this program is. But I will tell you this. I put together today with something. This has Putin. It has Obama. Both having a speech side by side at the same time. I also have two skeletons having discussions behind them. Then I have explosions going off behind them as well. Now, I want you all to know that I'm an amateur at this. I've only had this program for a little over two months now. Maybe three. I don't remember exactly, but it ain't been long. <clears throat> the reason why I'm telling you this is because with this imagery and the way things can be done now and the way programs can be made, You can almost fake anything you want to. And I'm being honest. I can almost make it look like two cars doing a head-on collision and me standing, me standing in the middle. Sure could. Have them run into my ears like this right here. And both of them just blow up. So I mean, I mean, just far out stuff. You could do anything. Make skeletons walk, run down the road with a beautiful background of the mountains or something, but a skeleton looking real all as real as you can possibly make it. So, folks, the only reason why I'm telling you this and sh sharing any of this with you. You know all them wonderful movies you watch on TV? Where do you think this technology come from? How do you think that they do some of the things that they do? Like the Fast and the Furious. Let's just use that one for example. Car's going across the desert. He downshifts it. hits third gear. Pops up the front wheels and runs over a guy. He's already doing 75... 75 to 100 mile an hour and he jacks the front end up and he runs into that guy so he can't shoot him remember that part in the scene look folks propaganda is a big piece there's also another story out there that I heard and I'm not going to handle it other than to mention it. I'm not going to put no web page up on this. But 
propaganda. Y'all do know that's war, right? I mean, it, it's a it's a news outlet war. They're having war with propaganda. That's basically what happened in Germany and the United States and Russia and all them other countries before. We're doing the same thing. We're repeating history again. Now this story was about the United States was told to have a small nuclear war in Ukraine. Nuclear strikes. Small nuclear strikes in Ukraine. To take over the situation in which was at hand. Their report also goes into saying that uh, the person that refused to do this order was arrested and so on and so forth. But yet again, it's just a rumor. <clears throat> and it was more than likely started by some propaganda outlet to create chaos for somebody else to make them sweat and to panic and maybe do something wrong so they can start a war. That's why I do the things and say the things to y'all. I'm doing my best help y'all understand what they're doing to us and why we should fight so hard to destroy the corporate government and I don't mean by physical force I meant with knowledge straight up people to people That's the best way I can say that to y'all. Only way I know how to say it to y'all. But if we the people don't work together, their television, their news, which they're using green screen too now, the newscast, the news outlets, the movies, Everything that you watch will soon be green screened completely. Even to the fact of where the person itself may be green screened as well. And mimicked. And their voice changed with their face. Which I know they can do. And you do too. So, we the people have the power. We always have. We just got to be quit being scared and sit behind the TV, sit behind sitting on our behinds and watching the propaganda good groove tube or the glue tube. It's more like glue. It sticks in your brain and you think it's true. You got to quit listening to all of that propaganda. There's only maybe 25% of anything that the news tells you is freaking true to start with. There's too much propaganda, too many lies. Obama, Putin, uh, China, Russia, it don't matter who. It's all of them. They all are trying to give you a new world order, folks. And if this machine, CERN, does their experiments in the next couple of weeks, God help us all. Because you're playing God. And they may not like what really happens. From my cold dead hands, abolish corporate government. 
so we can have our control over these idiots and nuts that are trying to destroy us all. Much love.